Hey, what's up guys? How about an affordable and very bright video light? I mean 200 watt video light on a budget. A light that can be used both for video and photography. If you are a YouTuber or content creator and hunting for an affordable video light, then you have come to the right video. This is GVM 200 watt bicolor video light. Before going in detail, let me thank guys on GVM for sending me this amazing 200 watt video light for testing. However, this video is not sponsored by GVM and I have not been paid or instructed by GVM for reviewing this light. This will be my honest and unbiased review about this 200 watt video light. That's why I will give you guys both pros and cons of this light. The light is coming in a very good carrying case which is best both for storage and traveling. In the case you will find GVM SD200 LED light, a very nice bone mount reflector, a very long power cord with strip, light protector, a nice strong light stand, and also 50 centimeter soft box with grid. So how is the build quality of this light? Huge light, it's not small, but it's very lightweight. It's not strong, it's made of plastic except some parts that's why it's very light the power pack has very nice locking mechanism once you lock it so accidentally it will not be unplugged uh, during your shooting and the power cord is six meter long enough for any type of studio and this Boyens mount reflector it's very thick and very strong GVM SD 200D is very strong by color light this light has a color temperature from 3200 all the way to 5600 Kelvin it has a CRI rating of 97 plus uh, it means it's it's giving a good color rendering this light is very bright it's 200 watt uh, the company is claiming that it's giving 93,000 lux brightness in 0.5 meter. Since it's very bright light, you can also use it for your photography. The menu system on this light is very simple. It has a power button, a mood switch, which has rotate option. When you are in rotate, you can change uh, the light setting from this uh, knob. And when you press it, you can change the color temperature. And when you press it again, you can change the uh, intensity of the light itself. Then when you press again the mode button, it has a slave. In a slave, you can use only one light. Then when you click in a master, if you want to use more than one light, you can put one in master and the rest in slaves. When you make changes to one of these lights, it will affect all the others. And another one is an app. So you can control this light with app. You can download the app both for Android and iOS. And also has a very nice uh, LCD screen, which gives you all the information showing you which channels you are, your color temperature, your light intensity, which mode you are. So all the information is showing you in this LCD screen. Uh, okay, so let me uh, give you guys some tests and show you how powerful this light is. So right now it's in 100%. It's very bright, very bright light. You cannot see. This light is very useful. I'm using it mostly for my product photography. Um, before I was using strobe a flashlight in my studio, but since I have this light, I'm using it both for my photo shoot and also video b-rolls. The app has a very simple interface with two dialing knobs, one for controlling the light intensity and another one is for changing the color temperature and can also turn on and off the light. If you are using this light in different settings, then it has an option to save all your settings. So you don't need to tweak the light every time. Once you save all your settings, you can easily recall it from my scene menu from the app. The pros are that this light is very lightweight, coming with very nice solid carrying case, along with strong strip and very long cord. And the cons of this light is that you cannot control the fan speed. And this is the only cons of this light and that you cannot control the fan of this light. But this one, since it's 200 watt, maybe that's why they didn't put this option to put it on a safer side. They didn't, they are not giving us to control the fan uh, noise. The fan noise, it's uh, not very noisy. And I will be quiet and I will give you guys how loud it is. Yeah, uh, it's not very loud, but anyways, but still uh, you cannot control the 
fan speed. If you guys have any questions regarding this slide, please write on the comments below. I'll try to answer all your questions. But if you're considering buying one, then I will put its link on the description of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and press the bell notification in order to be notified on my upcoming videos. And thank you so much for watching. See you guys on next video.